Welcome to La Paz, a city that's literally built on top of mountains, located at the height of 3,460 meters. This is a crazy city where you can buy love potions or a dead baby llama at the witch's market, a place where you get around by cable cars and get to witness Cholita's wrestle. And now I welcome you to join exploring La Paz together. Hello everyone, my name is Yannika and welcome to this video. Me and my boyfriend Rul are currently backpacking through South America and this morning we arrived to La Paz in Bolivia. Mostly today we've just been waiting for our check-in to start or for us to be able to check in. And yeah, we did have some lovely breakfast. Then we've also walked around a little bit and our first impression of La Paz is that it seems quite chaotic but I don't necessarily mind that. It seems very much alive so I'm very excited to be spending the next four nights here. We have just checked into our hotel room and it seems okay. Um, I don't think the pictures we saw online and the room that we got look necessarily the same. We already had to ask them to change the sheets because the sheets that were here were a bit dirty and yeah i'm not someone who usually even complains about those kind of things very easily but yeah it it the change of sheets was necessary let's just say so yeah it seems like a bit of an old room like our ceiling looks a bit like that and we'll manage at least we have a private room and a private bathroom so that's very nice and we do have a very nice view over the city and we're located right in the center. I think for now we're gonna relax and refresh a little bit as yeah, we spent last night on a bus and then let's go and explore La Paz. Wow, look at this street. It looks so nice. Oh, it smells so good here and it's because there's a old lady selling popcorn and I really want some popcorn because it smells so good so I'm gonna go and buy some. Bag of popcorn secured. <laughs> I got my popcorn in a plastic bag. <laughs> Let's try some. Mm. Tastes good. Good morning. We just had breakfast here at our hotel as it is included in our stay. And now for our activity of the day, at least what we're first gonna do is that we're gonna try and do this loop with the cable cars. So I have this map that I got from the reception and basically you can do a loop going with several different cable car connections. Okay, so currently we are staying here in this area and firstly we need to walk over here to Estacion El Prado. And from here we're taking the blue line or light blue line all the way over here and from here we're changing to the yellow line which we're also taking all the way over here. And then from here, we're taking the gray line going all the way here. And then we're taking the red line. And then we have to see, is it smart to take the red line completely and then the silver line and then again the blue line and come back or should we get off here at the red line and then basically like walk back in order to use the cable cars you need to buy a ticket or several tickets we luckily have this card a guy we met in potosi 
gave it to us and what I've understood you should be able to use one card for several people. Taking the cable cars here in La Paz is supposedly very affordable and a very safe way of traveling in La Paz and it's a great way of seeing the city and seeing it from above. As this city is built on top of a mountain there's no subways. There are buses but what I've seen the traffic looks kind of crazy so I think if you take a bus it will take a while to get from one place to another. So taking the cable car here is like the thing to do. It's how locals get home and to work and everything. So yeah I'm excited to go and explore it. We weren't planning on seeing a market like this. This just happens to be on the way to the cable car station. You can find everything here at this market. Food, flowers, candles, hats, anything you need. <laughs> it's kind of chaotic, but I love it. arrived to the station but we need to figure out how to put money on this card yeah there's a ticket machine okay so we were indeed able to use one card for two people there was already eight bolivianos in the card and we now put ten more so we'll see how far <laughs> that takes us but we are on the first cable car and we got a private cable car which is kind of nice changing from the blue line to the yellow line. It's really easy to see which line is which because the color of the station itself and the cable cars are the color of the line you're gonna take. From here you could either change to the green line or to the yellow line. So the first ride costed us three Bolivianos but now when changing to another one it costed us two Bolivianos. So it seems like if you do several in a row it's a bit cheaper. To the yellow one we go. Let's take one uh, by ourselves, I think. So in Bolivia, the use and selling and growing of coca leaves is completely legal and it helps you battle with your altitude sickness. This is the highest city in the world that has more than 1 million people living in it. It does help a bit. Apparently some people say you get a bus from it, but honestly I haven't noticed that. I think you would have to use quite a lot for that to be the case. But basically how you use it is you take a few. I usually like to fold them a bit like this and then I bite a bit on them making them wet and then what I do is that I put the coca leaves up here like behind my teeth and I just let it be there and eventually I spit it out. It is supposed to help your blood to absorb more oxygen, something like that. But I have found it to help a bit when I have a headache from the altitude, which I do at the moment, so let's hope this helps. But yeah, imagine if you would live in La Paz and this would be your means of transportation every day to go to work and school and stuff. They have uh, quite a nice spot for a chicken shop restaurant. You can have the most beautiful view over the city while eating some fried chicken. So if you're a fried chicken fan, maybe <laughs> you can have a little snack break here. Wow, like look at the view if you would sit there. You can see the whole city.
decided to get off at the red line and we're gonna walk from here back towards like where our hotel is and stuff and find some nice lunch place. But yeah, it was definitely a super fun way of seeing the city. We put just the perfect amount of money. So for taking four different cable cars, it costed us for two people, 18 Bolivianos in total. So pretty good. <laughs> some lunch to this place called the carrot tree it's right by the witch's market but what a cool view from here look what a fun cup I got my tea in nice and colorful got pineapple tea we both ordered these like breakfast sets we only just got the drinks coffee or tea and some juice was included so I ordered a breakfast wrap but they made it look really uh, funny <laughs> And then here is what Ruhl ordered, a bit more meaty. <laughs> so there's actually this walking tour that starts now at two o'clock at the witches market. So we've decided to take a part of that. Costs 25 Bolivianos per person and it's supposed to take two and a half hours. So I think it'll be a nice way to see and learn more about the city. The walking tour started at the witches market. Here you can find lucky charms, potions and even dead baby llamas to buy that are then used for sacrificial purposes. On the tour we also got to learn more about the dark sides of La Paz. For example, did you know that human sacrifices are still a thing here? Yes, you heard that right. In order to bless a building you need to sacrifice a human for this so basically under every big building in La Paz there is a person buried underneath or so at least we were told on the tour we also got to see a clock that turns backwards and got to learn more about the politics and previous presidents I also tried this roasted orange juice and it was good it is now the next day and today it is actually the last day of 2023 and how am I gonna spend the last day of this year? Well, by seeing some Cholitas wrestle. The Cholita wrestling match costed 80 Bolivianos and included transport, the tickets and a snack. But I'm not gonna say what company I did the tour with because unfortunately I cannot really recommend them. They were over an hour late with the pickup and we ended up missing the first 45 minutes of the show, which of a two hour long wrestle match is almost half. I also wasn't able to get any kind of compensation for this, unfortunately. But eventually we finally reached our destination and the Chalita wrestling itself was definitely very entertaining. Like I know it's for show, but some of the tricks they did were really impressive. back 
to the city center of La Paz. It was definitely a fun experience. For dinner, we decided to come to the restaurant of our hotel. There's like a rooftop restaurant basically, and the view from here is amazing. We're gonna eat first and then I'll show you guys the view because yeah, it's very, very pretty. morning uh, today is actually already the second day of January yesterday I didn't really feel much but to be honest we've been having some slight issues <laughs> with our stomach so we've had to take it a little bit easy also yesterday because it was the first of January everything was pretty much closed and it was weird seeing the city so quiet because usually it's so hectic and so much traffic and all the markets and yesterday it was like almost a bit like a ghost town we did also do a bit of a ride with the cable cars just for fun <laughs> we just went from one station to the other just for no reason just to enjoy it we were actually originally planning on leaving today but because of the slight stomach issues we decided maybe let's extend our stay with one more night so that we can rest a little bit and I don't know, try and get our stomachs to calm down a little bit. Today's plan is nothing super exciting, to be honest. We need to get our lives together a little bit. I need to get some editing done. We need to get some laundry done. And we need to buy a bus ticket to our next destination for tomorrow and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, and guess what happened yesterday? So when we were about to pay for our dinner, I realized that my wallet was gone and I was like oh no where is it like I hope I forgot it in the hotel room we come back to the hotel room the wallet is nowhere to be seen and I'm starting to get slight panic at where is my wallet then I start thinking like when is the last time that I remember seeing my wallet and it was when we were sitting downstairs in the hallway of this hotel I remember counting how much cash I have left rule runs downstairs to see if it's there and my wallet was literally sitting there on the couch and it had been sitting there for like five hours our hotel is very very centrally located and the doors are like open like when we were sitting there a bunch of people kept coming in trying to sell stuff and there were even like people coming in just asking for money like a lot of people coming in and out so yeah i don't know how in the world no one noticed my wallet maybe this also doesn't look so much like a wallet maybe it's not so obvious that it's a wallet so no one realized what was inside of it but yeah that was very very lucky imagine if i would have lost my wallet on the first day of the year that would have not been a fun way to start this new year i got very lucky and i also got a reminder to try and be more careful i used to be really bad with forgetting my things everywhere but i thought i had gotten better with it like i haven't lost anything in a long time knocking on wood I hope you guys have had a nice start to the year and no stomach issues like we have. But let's head to the laundry service place. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> we need to go now. Bye bye. Bus ticket acquired. Okay, please don't judge us, but <laughs> we have come to the same restaurant for the fourth time. But their food is just so good. The portions are really big and nice. They have a lot of vegetarian options for me. I know this is not really local cuisine, but it's a really, really nice cafe though. Like every single room is in the theme of a different continent, yeah. So we've now been sitting in almost every continent. We're currently in the Europe continent. So yeah, there's like Europe themed decoration and stuff. So yeah, they also have a really nice and big menu, which is nice, so every time get to try something new. Oh my 
goodness, look at this. It's filled with strawberries on the inside. <sighs> looks so good.